Hello again, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in the NCAC. I'm your host, Brett Bilhart. On this week's show, we'll take a look back at all the action from across the North Coast Athletic Conference for the week ending on Sunday, January the 27th. We'll open this week's show on the hardwood and take a look at NCAC basketball action from last week. First, on the men's side, Worcester now sits alone at the top of the league standings with a perfect 10-0 record against league foes. The race for the remaining top three spots in the conference standings are still up for grabs, with Ohio Wesleyan currently sitting in second at 7-3, while DePaul and Wittenberg are tied for fourth with identical 6-4 league marks. Denison climbed back to 500 in league play at 5-5 five five with a pair of wins last week against Oberlin 77-62 and Wabash 70-63. Junior guard Alex Longy posted 19 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists against Oberlin, and then returned on Saturday with a 13-point performance against the Little Giants. Longy was recognized for his efforts and was named the NCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week. Kenyon split a pair of league contests last week, falling to Worcester 86-52 before defeating Allegheny 71-69 on Saturday. Junior Akena Wadibia scored 19 points in Saturday's victory over the Gators, including beating the buzzer in regulation to give the Lords the two-point league victory. DePaul continued its recent success with a pair of overtime victories last week. The Tigers defeated Wittenberg 68-66 on Wednesday and then took down Ohio Wesleyan 65-63 on Saturday. Junior Alex Payne hit a runner as time expired in the first overtime session to give DPU the win over Wittenberg. The Tigers then rallied from a 10-point deficit with three minutes left in regulation to force overtime and eventually capture the two-point triumph over the battling Bishops on Saturday. And finally, Worcester ran its current winning streak to 10 straight with league victories over Kenyon 86-52 and Hiram 68-63. Fighting Scott sophomore Kenny DeBoer tallied a team-high 15 points against Kenyon and then added 10 points in the hard-fought victory over Hiram. NCAC men's basketball, men's basketball action continues this week with five games each on Wednesday and Saturday. Highlighted by Ohio Wesleyan hosting Wittenberg on Wednesday, and DePaul traveling to Kenyon on Saturday. Let's now break down women's hoops action from last week. DePaul, the top-ranked team in the nation, stands alone on the top of the NCAC women's basketball standings with a perfect 10-0 record. Like the men, the race for the remaining positions in the top four continues to escalate in the women's standings, as Kenyon currently sits in second at 8-2, Allegheny and Denison are tied for third at 6-4, and, and Wittenberg maintains sole possession of fifth place at 5-4. Denison elevated in the league standings after securing back-to-back -back victories over Oberlin 53-35 and Hiram 66-44 in action last week. Big Red senior guard Serafina Nuzo collected NCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week accolades as she totaled 23 points, 6 steals, and 5 rebounds against Hiram, and then tallied 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 steals against Oberlin. Nuzo, who moved into 5th on the DU all-time scoring list with 1,261 career points, shot 60% from the field last week, including nailing 9 of 14 3-point attempts. Like Denison, Allegheny registered a 2-0 week against league opponents. The Gators opened with a 57-29 victory over Hiram on Wednesday and then pulled off a 49-47 victory over Kenyon on Saturday. Sophomore guard Marina Scarantino scored a career-high 12 points against the ladies, including hitting a layup with 14 and a half seconds remaining on the clock that sealed the Gators' upset victory. The DePaul Tigers extended their current regular season winning streak to 44 straight, with wins over Wittenberg and Ohio Wesleyan. Junior forward Alex Gassaway led the team on the week by averaging 18.5 points and 8 rebounds, including a season-high 27-point effort against Wittenberg. NCAC women's hoop action continues this week, 
with four games each on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Highlighted by Kenyon hosting DePaul on Tuesday, Denison hosting Kenyon on Friday, and Wittenberg traveling to Allegheny on Saturday. Let's now turn our attention to the pool where, se where several NCAC squads wrapped up the regular season portion of their schedules last weekend. Allegheny hosted Worcester and Grove City in a double dual meet at Mellon Pool in Meadville on Saturday. In men's action, Allegheny picked up wins over Grove City 167 to 127 and over Worcester 176 to 118 while Grove City earned a 173-125 triumph over Worcester. In women's action, Allegheny defeated Worcester 152-145, while Grove City earned a pair of wins over both Allegheny 177-119 and Worcester 171-114. Allegheny junior diver Emily Capone earned NCAC Women's Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Week honors after notching a pair of regional qualifying scores. The junior totaled 293.15 points on the 1-meter board and a tally of 286.75 on the 3-meter board. Oberlin closed out the home portion of its schedule with a tri-meet against Ohio Wesleyan and Notre Dame College. Ohio Wesleyan climbed the podium in the men's competition with 697 points, followed by Notre Dame with 356, and Oberlin with 353. Oberlin won the women's event with 603 points, followed by Ohio Wesleyan with 438, and Notre Dame with 372. Denison earned a pair of victories over Carnegie Mellon in the final home meet of the season at the Trumbull Aquatic Center, with the men winning 141 to 20, 128, and the women by a score of 147 to 118. Junior Al Week posted three wins against CMU for the men in the 1650 free with a time of 1603.46, the 1000 free with a time of 942.65, and the 500 free with a time of 444.54. And freshman Kelly Frazier swept the women's diving competitions with a score of 229.65 on the 3 meter board and a score of 177.38 on the 1 meter board. DePaul split a dual meet with the University of Chicago on Saturday, with the men winning 187 to 110 and the women falling by a score of 176 to 123. DPU sophomore Casey Hooker garnered NCAC men's swimming and diving Athlete of the Week laurels after playing a part in four event victories. Hooker posted individual titles in the 100 fly with a time of 51.89, the 200 fly with a time of 154.93, and the 200 back with a time of 158.28. Hooker also swam the lead leg on the winning 400 free relay that finished with a time of 3.09.83. With the 2013 NCAC Swimming and Diving Championships scheduled for February 13th through the 16th at the CT Brandon North natatorium in canton ohio there are just four more regular season meets remaining on the schedule this weekend ohio wesleyan plays host to kenyon on friday while saturday meets feature denison traveling to owu kenyon hosting wittenberg and DePaul traveling to rose hallman and finally we'll wrap up this week's show by recognizing our indoor track and field athlete of the week award winners for the week ending on Sunday, January the 27th. First, for the women, the weekly award for distance and middle distance events went to Allegheny Jr. Christina Martin, who won the 5K at the Worcester Quad Meet with a time of 18.40.48. The women's weekly award for sprint and hurdle events also went to a Gator as freshman Alexis Preston collected the honor. Preston earned the award after winning her first collegiate title in the 400-meter dash with a time of 1.04.36, also at the Worcester Quad Meet. And the final Women's Weekly Award for field events went to Worcester senior Abina Boma Achimpong, who reset her own school record in the high jump at the Worcester Quad after clearing 5 feet 6 inches, besting her own school record of 5 feet 5 inches set at last year's Fighting Scott Invitational. 
And the first men's weekly award for distance and middle distance events went to Wabash senior Jake Waterman, who clocked the second fastest time in the nation to date in the 800 meter dash at the Indiana, Indiana University Relays with a time of 1.51.98. The senior also helped the 4x400 meter relay squad clock a top 10 time nationally as the team crossed the finish line in 3.19.66. The Men's Weekly Award for Sprint and Hurdle Events went to Ohio Wesleyan senior Silas Joliffe. Joliffe represented OWU at the Spire Midwest Indoor Track and Field Open at the Spire Institute in Geneva, Ohio. He finished second in the 400-meter dash with a time of 48.63 and was also a member of the winning 4x400-meter relay that broke the tape with the second-fastest time in the nation this year, 31537. And the final men's weekly award for field events was awarded to Wabash sophomore Chris Nickel, who won the high jump with a leap of six feet, three and one quarter inches to help the Little Giants earn the team title at the Rose Holman Engineer Invitational. NCAC indoor track and field action continues this weekend, highlighted by DePaul kicking off its season with its annual small college invitational on Friday and Worcester hosting its annual Fighting Scott Invitational on Saturday. Fans, for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference, you can log on to our website at www.northcoast.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. And for the entire conference staff, I'm Brett Bilhart, and thanks for watching.